master of blackjack. Almost lost my hat. It's Jabri. Um, you had a couple questions for me, so I'm going to answer them. Hey, yo, this is Bilal here from 90 Day Fiance. And um, yeah, so let's, let's get to some of these questions. Hello all, thank you to Master Blackjack for asking some questions via Cameo. Hi, this is Kara from 90 Day Fiance and I just wanted to answer a few of your questions. Hi Master of Blackjack, this is Miona from 90 Day Fiance and thank you so much for requesting this Cameo. Hi everyone, I'm Shida from Season 9, 90 Day Fiance. Okay, let's get straight to the questions. Master of Blackjack, thank you for the cameo request. Really excited to share my story with you guys and you know answer some of your questions. So, who's your favorite cast member? My favorite cast member is Bilal because despite him loving to play pranks on me, he's generally a sweet soul, hence why I hooked up with him. I know this is for your followers, so I'm gonna get straight into your questions. When it comes to my favorites, oh my god, there's so many of them, but I guess the first one would be Yara and Jovi, then Fernanda, Evelyn, Juliana. I love beautiful women, I love to support my women, uh, and I really enjoyed watching all of these women. Uh, and I really enjoyed watching their process after the show, how they developed and uh, they were all young women so it gives me a lot of inspiration seeing them i'd have to say darcy and andre would be my top two picks but i have a lot of favorites first question is who is my favorite cast member i am blessed to be a part of such a, a diverse group of cast members whose journeys are also incredible and my favorite cast member has to be Eve. Um, my all-time favorite 90 day cast is probably Lauren and Alexi. Honestly, I just think they're so nice and they're so cool and if I could hang out with them in real life, it would make me really happy. Um, I also really like Erica Owens from Australia. I used to live in Australia and so um, I feel like a special connection with her. I also just love how um, vibrant she is with all her different colored hair and wigs and tattoos and fun clothes. And she just feels really authentic to me and I appreciate that. I think that my favorite cast member would probably be, probably be Stephanie. I think Stephanie's uh, got a lot of gas. <laughs> Got a lot of gas, got a lot of fuel, got a lot of creativity. I think I think that uh, Stephanie is uh, very creative. So I'd probably say that's my, my favorite cast member. I'm probably going to have to say, you know what? I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose um, my fiance on the show, Shida and myself, you know, because we know each other and um, versus other cast members yet so uh i'll choose us not from a casita standpoint but just because that's, that's who we know and the least favorite cast member i do not have because i don't watch stuff that i'm not interested at i might have some people that i enjoyed or was interested in watching more but there is no one that i don't like or it's my least favorite I think if I answer that one, I'm going to get in trouble. So I'm going to zip it and move on. <laughs> My least favorite cast member of all time is probably Jay from Jamaica because fucking a girl in a bathroom at your job is pretty fucked up and messy. Um, so I just thought that was really distasteful and I have no time for that and I don't like it and I don't like him. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I hope you guys are well. I'm sending you love and light. And then as far as my least favorite, you know, it's hard to answer because, you know, you're only getting to know someone from what's on TV. But I feel like I liked uh, or I didn't like Stephanie and the old lady that went to Belize and David from season five. I think his fiance was Evelyn. But yeah, um, you know, if you had to put a gun to my head, those 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 are the people I pick for least favorite and favorite. Um, who's my least character? Um, I'm going to say, uh, I'm a pass on that because again, I just don't know anybody individually and I'll never judge somebody I don't know. So, um, 
yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it was somebody that I that would be my my least favorite, you know, cast member. And uh, the other question you asked me was, are you scared of trolls dumping on you? And I would say, I guess I, I would rather have the trolls dump on me rather than dump on somebody else that might be affected, you know, mentally or spiritually. I've been through a lot of my life, so, you know, I, I understand that anybody who's dumping on me is probably looking at themselves in the mirror and dumping on themselves. So I, I would just hope that, you know, that person is okay <laughs> and they're they're having a better day and hopefully they can figure it out because I don't I don't condone bullying. I don't condone condone hating on anybody, especially not somebody who's trying to figure themselves out in the world. I think a lot of people are trying to figure out who they are, what they represent. So I definitely think that um, I'm not too concerned. They say sticks or stones will break my bones. Words will never hurt me, but that's some bullshit. Words hurt. Words hurt. So I'm making sure that I'm sending love and light and just, you know, spread my message and, and really telling my story of what I went through as a, as a young man trying to figure out this world, this wild world we live in. And then as far as uh, getting dumped on by bloggers and whatnot, I'm not too worried about it. I've kind of had a couple videos in the past, like 10 years ago, uh, from my weightlifting days go viral, and I've had my fair share of haters on the internet already. So I've been there, done that, and you know, I'm still alive. So I'm not too worried about that for myself. I am a little bit worried for my fiance, but she's a strong woman, and I think, you know, she'll be able to block that out when it comes but there's definitely been some really funny comments um especially about my tiny head don't know why people think i have a tiny head it's it's more that i have wide shoulders but you know is what it is are you scared of the trolls dumping on you hell no absolutely not you see my dreams are bigger than my fears and i've always wanted to put myself out there and i've always wanted to live outside of the box that i tend to live in so no the trolls don't intimidate me. Are you scared of trolls? Um, you know, on the beginning when all this started, um, I was I was definitely having some tension and feeling some tension, but I'm growing so much and developing as a woman, especially in the last year, that I came to that point where I uh where i'm so sure in myself and so confident that no one else's opinion can literally touch me so uh i know i'm kind to other people i know i support other people i know i love other people i never hurt anyone so there's literally nothing that someone can say about me that can hurt me i know who i am and i recommend that for everybody else to think like that Am I worried about trolls dumping on me? Not really. No one is perfect and I don't claim to be. I'm from a different culture. I believe in treating everyone with respect. I am learning a lot about digital media. I am blessed to have guidance from a social media management team. As far as people talking shit on the internet, uh, I feel like when you're on reality TV, you open yourself up for a lot of people to say whatever they want about you. But ultimately, I just don't give a fuck. Uh, I mean, I think what people write on the internet about people on television says a lot more about the person writing it than it does about the person on TV because ultimately, um, you're seeing a very short version of someone's life, you know? and. Um, to have the audacity to comment on them as if you know who they are or what they're about seems a little odd to me. I can't even believe, honestly, this process has just started and I can't believe how many people have time as adult grown humans to write comments, especially negative comments on people's profiles or about their lives or about people they've never met. I'm like, do these people have jobs? Don't you have things to be doing that's productive? Um, but maybe not. My motto is I'm not fussed. And I actually have it tattooed on my finger right here. It says not fussed. Um, and that just means unbothered. So like if people want to talk shit, let them talk shit. I ain't worried about it because it doesn't bother me. Um, 
am I scared of trolls dumping on me? <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. You know, the funny thing is that um, I'm, a, I'm really, I'm a people pleaser. I like to just make people laugh, make people smile. Uh, so when it first started, you know, it was a little, you know, just kind of like, wow, like, man, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of, like, just bad messages, you know, a lot of bad comments, you know. Um, but I just take everything and try, you know, realizing that, hey, you know, people don't know you, you know, and people, you know, some people hate you today and they love you tomorrow. And, you know, I could be, um, you know, Mother Teresa or Gandhi, you know, Martin Luther King Jr., whoever, you know, um, and this is society that we live in right now today, social media, et cetera. You can't make everybody happy. You can't appease anybody. And, you know, people are always going to have things to say. So, um, you know, I wish everybody the best, but at the end of the day, you know, you'd have to live your life for you and, you know, and try to be good and, and do the right thing. So, um, no, I'm not, I'm not scared of trolls. Um, I could not tell you one vlogger ever that I've ever known their name. Unfortunately, I guess I don't spend a lot of time on vlogs. I don't know any vloggers by their names, so I can't really choose a favorite because I don't know any. Um, so, um, I haven't got a chance to check out a bunch of bloggers, so I don't really have a favorite there. Sorry. Um, uh, who's my favorite vlogger? Interesting. Um, I'm not necessarily huge on like going on different vlogs and YouTube, you know, I kind of stay really busy. Uh, but I don't know, probably have to say you since you asked me to do this, <laughs> do this. So, uh, so yeah. What, who is your favorite vlogger? Um, if I have to call my favorite vlogger is a girl from New York called The Paradox of Melina. She vlogs. She has this New York fashion sense. I love her content. But on a positive note, the next question you asked me was, who's your favorite, favorite vlogger? And uh, I don't know if you consider Master of Blackjack a vlogger, but I would call you my favorite content creators thus far that I've seen. I mean, literally you have two channels, I believe. I think you have like over, you have a lot of subscribers. You have 100K on one and the other one, you have like 78K or something like that. And uh, I just respect your hustle. I respect how many videos uh, Master of Blackjack puts out and you guys are like a collective and you seem like you have a super cool fan base. And I don't know, you guys sound like a superhero troop. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody that subscribes and watches Master of Blackjack. And again, thank you for booking me on here. It means a lot to me. There are so many talented bloggers. One of my favorites is Dawn Zarabit Hall News. They are they have been very respectful. Um who's my favorite vlogger? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. I if you mean like my favorite YouTube vloggers, that would be Des and Juju. I love Des and Juju. It's like a couples channel channel and Caroline KB. They're my big inspiration, beautiful couples. Um and what do I want the fans to know? I mean, yeah, I think I want the fans to know that we're just so excited to be a part of the journey and the 90 day family. And we're so thrilled that there are people who love tuning in every Sunday and love um, to see our love story. So just letting everybody know how appreciative we are of their um, viewership. <laughs> And then, yeah, what I want people to know about is reality TV, they, it doesn't pay the bills, but I do knock on doors for a living and run sales teams uh, for door-to-door -door, uh, sales. And, you know, if you're in Dallas or if you're in Las Vegas, because I work between the two cities, who knows, I might bump into you. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the season, enjoy our story, and I really appreciate the request. One thing is to thank you for the nice welcome to the United States and to the 90 day family. The second is I hope that you continue to watch my and Eve's journey every Sunday night. And last and most important thing is 
I would like to say is as my language continues to improve, please be aware I may select the wrong word in a sentence. <laughs> it seems to happen to all of us and we get lost in translation time to time. Thank you guys and thank you to Master Blackjack for reaching out and you can find me on Cameo as well. What do you want the fans to know? Okay, breathe. This is what I want the fans to know. Just because I have standards doesn't make me a gold digger. So all these comments about, oh, she wants his money, oh, she's a gold digger. I have standards and I'm not going to lower it to please anyone, okay? I can live in a very small, comfortable home once it's neat and tidy and well kept, okay? So just to be clear, I have standards and having standards does not equate to being a gold digger. Anyhow, and bye everyone. Take care. The last question you asked me was what I want the fans to know. And um, I just want the fans to know that um, <laughs> I'm a fan of you. I'm a fan of you and everything that you do. I'm sending you, I'm sending you love and light too, so you can pursue anything that you want to accomplish in this world, you know, and you're taking the time out of your day to support content creators like Master of Blackjack. You're taking the time out of your day to support TLC, Discovery Plus, 90 Day Fiance, and that's dope. So I want to get to know you guys. Feel free to send me a message if there's anything I can do to help. That's my goal, you know, so I'm not a, I'm not an influencer. I go call myself inspiration. So I would love to send any inspiration or motivation to you guys, the fans, and especially the fans of Master of Blackjack. I appreciate y'all. Sending you guys love and light. Peace. Um, what do you want fans to know? I would just say that, you know, remember at the end of the day, we're all just, we're all people. You know, I'm a regular guy. I'm not this huge facade type person you know I'm a regular guy I come from you know um, inner city of America um, never profess to say like I'm this huge wealthy guy or anything like actually you never heard me say that out of my mouth um, I just said you know I, I reach a certain level of success and success is relative you know success isn't the same for everybody and success for me isn't financially solely so success for me is like you know having um, you know, being God conscious, you know, having, uh, you know, raise your children the right way, uh, living a healthy lifestyle, uh, being physically active, uh, you know, giving back charities, you know, really trying to help improve other people's lives um, and really trying to make my imprint. So all those things like is, is multiple buckets for me. That's what I mean by success. So success isn't monetarily. It's not just money. It's not just what you have in your bank account. Because you can have a lot of money and you be a, a a hole, or you can you know just treat people bad. That is not success whatsoever. So, uh, so when I speak of success, know that I'm not talking about money strictly, um, and uh, I am literally talking about all areas of life. And uh, I've been I've been very blessed, and I'm truly truly humble that coming from where I came from. And I just want to let everybody know that I'm just a regular, regular guy. And um, I enjoy life, enjoy living it. And I just want to make an impact as much as I can and, and, and do what I can to just to leave my footprint before I leave this earth. All right. Peace and love, guys. I'm out. And what do you want the fans to know? I want you guys to know that you should be kind to each other, kind to the cast members. We are all doing our best to give you guys a show, but then to stay true to ourselves. And it's really hard to combine those two. So please be nice, be kind. Even when you want to say something mean, say something positive for the change and you're going to see how the answer is going to surprise you. When you spread love, something amazing can grow out of it. 
So try to spread more love. You know, if you see that someone is doing something that you don't like, giving more hate onto that, it's not gonna help you. It's gonna grow more hate out of it. So try doing it with love and you, you are going to be amazed what can grow out of it. I promise you. Love you guys. Thank you. Master of Blackjack in the Blackjack community.